Buenos dias. We are uh, not in Mexico. Good morning. Good morning. It's day five. We are currently in the ocean. Yep. Can you see? Nope, that was the back of the TV. Swoof. We're this way. We, I'll show them. Oh. We're floating toward Nassau mm -hmm. and we're going to do stuff today. We have a lot of plans for today, so we're going to see how it all comes together. Lots of walking. Lots of walking. Yeah. I know we've got a 12-15 tour. We're going to go to the Ardastra Gardens and do a city tour. We've never actually done like an official city tour in Nassau, so we're like, uh. About not? time. <laughs> but right now we're going to go get some breakfast. It's burrito time. Look at that. We were yellow and then all of a sudden the camera's ah. like, oh, you don't need to be yellow anymore. Yeah. You look normal now. And we're going to go eat food. So let's go have a Nassau day. See, there's the window. There's the water. We're still floating. We're going places. Yeah. yeah. Burrito, burrito, burrito. Are you trying to steal all of our burritos? Burrito. <laughs> <laughs> what is that face? I'm trying to give you some pastries so you can survive your day. Yes! Pastries! You said go get pastries, I did. Oh. You gotta be more specific than that. Welcome to Nassau. Better than Port Canaveral. It's the new slogan for Nassau. At least tonight's still in Florida. Title card. I'm gonna slap the word Nassau Bahamas right over top of this shot right here. We got the Carnival Victory, the Carnival Dream, and the Carnival Atlantis. No, that's not a ship. Carnival Atlantis, best ship. Look, we have the magical, wild, fast food star foam container. Crikey, that container. Here's our Nassau view from our French door balcony. Nassau has a lifeboat, and a lifeboat, and some buildings, and some water. Actually, here is our new view of Nassau. We have the, whoop, you can barely see it, the Norwegian sky directly out our balcony door. So I know we're in port with the victory today, the carnival dream, the Norwegian sky. That's all I know so far. So we're still maneuvering, getting close to the pier, but it would appear that we're almost here. Yeah. We've wandered down to deck three so we can see off to Nassau. And we can see like the sky and the sky. So that's cool. Water. So we're in Nassau. We're waiting for clearance. Well, we don't get off till 1215. Mm. I think clearance is 1115. So we just meet right off the pier and we're just gonna wait till our time, I think. Kill some time. We're time chilling. He's on my side. <laughs> You're chilling. You came out here in the sunshine to get warm. It's been so cold on this trip. This is the warmest day we've had, so I'm very much looking forward to it. Yeah. To warm. <laughs> yes, we're walking the lifeboat deck while we wait. Well, the lifeboat deck has the best view, probably. So, and we're learning <laughs> muster stations. A. A. That's that actually, ours. it is our muster station. See, we're doing safety research. <laughs> we have reached the rear of the ship. I said, can we keep going? Aft. Yeah, you might be able to walk out there on that thing. But we have lovely views of the harbor. Yeah, Balmoral was over that direction. There's a British Colonial Hilton where we spent a few days. Of course, they've recently raised their day passes, I think, to about $80. Sock of the morning to ya. Unicorn sprinkles. All right, I'm gonna find something good to compete with that for tonight, all right? Yeah. What socks you got going? Invisible socks. Check out these guys right here. Best socks. Oh, yeah. Bam. You win. You win. You do have a heart on your sock. Wow. You left, a, you left a child. Okay. Okay. So the gangway at the front of the ship is quite congested, but the gangway in the middle of the 
Oh, man. So as I was saying before crazy family of uh, people came up and interrupted, <laughs> that's the British Colonial Hilton, which we've done in the past. They've raised their prices recently. It's actually $100 now to go there for a day pass and you get $40 food and beverage credit. So basically you're spending like $60. I think when we went, it was $60 with a $40 food yeah. credit. So that seemed like a better deal. I think what Michael and Susan and the fam there is gonna do is try to walk further down to Junkanoo Beach, which should be that little strip of sand down there. At least we think Looks so. nice, but I wanna say they probably have about another half mile walk past the Hilton to get down to Junkanoo Beach. So we'll hear from them later today. But it doesn't look too deep. Um, yeah. So maybe it's a good beach for kids. Looks like it. It doesn't, yeah, you can see how far it's blue until it actually drops off out there. It looks nice. I wanna go. Let's go. <laughs> so now we're over here on the side with the Carnival Dream. And I can hear all sorts of air things and stuff happening on this side. There's the little tent where we will eventually meet our shore excursion. And yeah, we got like an hour to kill until we need to be down there on the pier under the green thingy thing thing. We're working on our steps. Woo, getting our steps in. 1,300 already. Weak. Not That's that weak. Good. Uh. That's your muster station. D. Take a picture. Okay. That's me walking. Oh, you walk in too. This is how we walk when we kill and die. This is fun. <laughs> this is a big fan with lots of noise up there. Don't go there. Painting the port thing black. He's painting the port thing black. It's a port thing. I don't know what it is. It's a tie, a tie thing. Don't sing my songs. Quit stealing them. No. It's called a, a thing, a mooring thing. That's a mooring thing. <laughs> ah. She's going to the ladies club. Ladies, it's ladies night. Why do I smell french fries all of a sudden? They must have french fries in the ladies club. Mmm. Or Pringles. All the Pringle ladies, all the Pringle ladies. No. Nope. Nope. Edit that out. Mm-mm. So we came back to the room for a second for a few last minute things and we got our towel animal. It's a dog. It's a dog. I'm hydrating. There's people on our, um, well, we don't really have a balcony. They're doing stuff out our door. Sir. That's it. I had nothing to say to him other than <laughs> sir. Ha. Ah. John. Woof. Down to deck A we go. For apple. Away we go. All right, we're not meeting underneath the tent today. We've got our sign right there at Astro Gardens. Hey, check it out. All right, we're in line for our Dastro with our flamingo pink wristbands on. Love them. Oh, I think we're gonna go somewhere. We're hanging out today again with Andrew and Caitlin. And I can't point on camera. I think I just pointed right in your face. And Naomi's hanging out. Hey, Hi. you're down there. We're gonna, we're gonna go look at all kinds of cool birds and stuff today. I hear they have pigs and raccoons and rabbits. Yeah. I'm mostly excited for the birds and the flamingos and everything. <laughs> oh, you're hiding. If it's too sunny, you got the perfect habitat down there. I need one of those myself. You have a hat. All right, we're gonna go somewhere. Maybe. Man, I remember this before. Walking through the streets of Nassau, getting sold one dollar water. Oh, hey, at least it looks like our bus is right here waiting for us. We had to go way down the street last time. Yeah. Welcome to the island of New Providence. It's the name of the entire island. Nassau is the city. You are presently in the city of Nassau. And the island of New Providence is only 21 miles from east to west and 7 miles from north to south. The Bahamas consist of 700 islands and 2,000 keys.
This fort was built in honor of King George III wife, Saharia Charlotte. The fort charges a fee to go on the inside. So if you do want to go on the inside of the fort, you would have to come at the commissary gift shop and pay to enter. You have 20 minutes here. So we're at Fort Charlotte, our first stop here on the tour. We're not gonna go in Fort Charlotte. We have 20 minutes to hang out, look at the vendors, stuff like that. There's a cost to go into Fort Charlotte, but I don't think we have time for that. Yeah, but we didn't know we were coming here, so that's a nice surprise. Yay! Hey, cool. This is where they do the Nassau Native Quest and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I've seen that as an excursion, like a scavenger hunt, and looks fun for families, but yeah. we're gonna look around. Come with us. She's so sleeping. I almost fell asleep on the bus too. It's all right. Let's learn some stuff like how the sunlight glares off of glass. Oh, we are here. <laughs> Fort Charlotte. Well, we're here by the obelisk. Yeah, we've got a celebrity ship coming into the harbor. Celebrity Summit. I don't think we've actually ever seen a celebrity. No, so they're coming in to hang out with all of us today. There's all the ships over there. There's the obelisk in case we like, you know, can't see that. But Celebrity Summit coming in to join us. Now it said no motorized vehicles on this pathway. Is there is there a motor in that thing? <laughs> no. no. All right. Is she asleep? A few parts in a couple hours. I'll put one in there. You might need to. <laughs> She's sleeping. It's a good day for a nap. Here's a D. I found the sidewalk where they keep their D's at Fort Charlotte. <laughs> well, I guess this is as good a way as any to make like a little protective fence. You just kind of find some pallets and repurpose them. And you got a little lookout point. What are we looking out for? Rocks. Hey. I didn't do it. We got in trouble. We went too far. We got too close to the fort. Well, they asked us if we had a ticket, and we have a wristband. I don't think it's the same Well, thing. no. I was just walking along the sidewalk. Right. I thought maybe there would be like a, a gate or something that we could go through, but they were like, you can't go this way. See, I almost got y'all kicked out of Nassau. Look at that. Hey, that's oh, not right. the first time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not the first time. All right, we've made it to the commissary gift shop admissions building. I think we can do some shopping. I see, I guess we can't go up the stairs either, huh? We're being denied everything. Oh, you gotta pay to climb the stairs, all right. This is the historic Fort Charlotte ticketing and entrance. Rum gift shop. I sound like I said rum gift shop. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> well, I feel like I'm going in a, like a catacomb, or I know, what is it, like a, where you, you store your wine under the water, under the <laughs> ground, under the thing. Look at all these cool stuff, it's like, please don't read books. Just general life advice, please do not read books. Thanks. Nope, 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 you guys stop reading. Don't read any of these. Do not. Don't touch them. Do not read these either. Did you not see the sign over there? It says, do not read books. It's bad. I know you're gonna get in trouble. You're gonna get us kicked out of here. Bahamian ice cream truck. I want some. Bus, go get me some ice cream. All right. I decided on a bottled ginger beer. T got a bottled grapefruit soda. <laughs> Boom. There's our bus. He told us to remember number 98. Look, it's lit tours. These tours are lit. Hashtag lit. Now, I did mention at the beginning when we were coming in here that in order for you to get into the fort, you would have to pay a price. That's why that gentleman stands there. Sometimes he's go missing because he goes to use the restroom. But that's where it's he was. the way the fort makes <laughs> their money. He was not so there when we went by. Island. He was having that's a pee, -pee. Also where you can find the queen staircase. has a pet adoption agency no. where you can adopt a cat no. or adopt a dog. And so folks, enjoy your time here at the garden. Oh, there's rules. I'm reading them. Read. Something, children, animals, litter, fingers, foreign objects. Got it. They're being so strong enough that it can actually break. If you get anything close enough to it, it will be broken. Mm. All right, in fact, the oh, first oh, 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 these guys on, yes, they do oh. say a basic hello. As you know, it's mating season, but we're still gonna tell the kids they're playing fight right now, okay? Oh my. So yeah. 
Are you ready for these birds? Are you sure? Yeah. All right. Oh, you got, might have a friend. Hey. <laughs> you have a friend already. Yeah, they said there's only seven birds in here, so no danger of really getting mobbed by birds today. You're hungry. It's a nice, calm bird interaction yeah. for a change. Yeah, normally they're all over my head. Mm -hmm. Is that it? There's more people with food. You want to go find them? <laughs> yep, he's yep. like, bye. <laughs> yep. Oh, you lost your friend, but he's well fed. Oh, that's a, that's a tree. Wow, right? All right, we're bird hunting with Caitlin now. Oh, you got a friend. Let's see if Naomi can fish for birds. We're going to get you a bird. Oh, there's another bird just went by. Um, well, this is a hungry bird right here, actually. He's looking at me funny. There you go. Let me eat the apple. There you go. <laughs> yeah. You see? Yeah. <laughs> bird attack. Surprise mommy. Bird jump scare. <laughs> that was a little uh, f Five Nights in the Aviary exactly. action right there. Um, look, you, you missed what would have been your favorite part of this exhibit. What? This mirror right here. <laughs> so you could be like, check it out, check it out. Did the bird eat out of Yes, Aww. the bird ate all the apples. Okay, mm-hmm. Oh, I figured I'd find you up here, communing with the nature. friend flamingo friend mm. oh yeah capybara we're gonna go see a flamingo show see what the flamingos have to show us they got good music at this show good i like it That's not the right dance move. Oh, they're taking my song away. All right, the Caribbean Flamingos and their drill sergeant, Joe Nell. Flamingos nope. nest in very large colonies called rookeries, <laughs> which takes about 28 days to hatch. He chased them back Caring over there. Caring for the there. small chick after it hatches is done by both birds because flamingos uh -oh. are monogamous. It nope. requires the care of both parents to ensure the survival of that one chick they have each year. Starting with the gentleman in the orange shirt. Sir, you're going to be hey. the first picture. You got to do a pose. All right. So here we go, sir. Now you got to teach your daughter how to be a flamingo. Set a good example. Here we go. There you go. All right. Not too bad, sir. Very nicely done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just a friendly reminder, if you missed the Lord King Power Feeding earlier, the next one will be happening at 3.30. That's 3.30 in front of Exhibit 18. Have a meerkat. You do not very get a meerkat. No, capybara and a meerkat. No. And then do No. 
As you can see, <laughs> this would be the female. She would love for you to catch every single angle of her. She normally does that. Yeah, this goes like a little like. <laughs> so we have some more inside the petting zoo. If you guys want to get a chance to catch it. This was really a secret garden. They wouldn't put up a big sign about it, I don't think. I don't know if I believe this. We made it back to the terminal, whatever you call it. We're, now, we're getting ready to go on another adventure. We just finished one, and now we're back.